Hey there! Today I want to start a new series on how to store data online with MongoDB. First things first, you have to create an account on MongoDB. You can create it from scratch or sign up with your existing Google account. Once you created an account, you have to answer a few questions. So we want to build a new application, we want it for gaming, and our preferred language is C Sharp because Unity uses C Sharp. On the next page, we can choose between different plans. We start with the shared because it's free and we can always upgrade later. On the next page, you can choose your preferred cloud provider and your region. So for me it's Azure and because Azure don't have a region in Germany, I prefer the Netherlands. So when you scroll down, you can see your cluster tier in detail. So first, 512 megabyte storage. That's enough for just a high score. And for this tier, we also don't have a backup. But this one is just for testing, so it's okay. On the bottom, we can give our cluster a name. I will name it First Game. So now, we came to the security quick start. Here we can set up an authentication if we want to connect to our database directly. So you can choose between username and password or a certificate. So for now, I just create a username admin and auto-generate a secure password. I also add my current IP address because we need a wide list of all IP addresses for direct connections. So now we can start creating some data. So first click on Browse Collections to connect to your database. So when it's the first time, we have to add our own data. We give the database a name and create our first collection named Highscore. Collections are similar to tables in other databases. So on our collection Highscore, we can insert our first document or our first entry. So here we just define our fields. The first one will be player and it's a string. The second one will be a score, which is an int32 type. The ID will be automatically generated and we can leave it as it is. To track all players, we create a new collection, Users. In here, we also create a new entry with just one field, Player. And because we don't want to update both collections from our app, we create a new app service. So click on App Services and build your own app. Here we link our data source and give our application a name. Now we want to define a database trigger. So we go to Triggers and Add Trigger. We give the trigger a name. For this it's Add Users Trigger. For the trigger, we have to define the source details. So it's our cluster name, first game, our database name, game one, and our collection name, high score. We also can define when the trigger gets called. For this, it's only on a new insert. We also enable the full document to have access to the whole entry. The trigger will call a function which we name the same as our trigger. In the function down low, you will see some commented examples. So you can get a first impression what you can do with functions. And you see, they are written in JavaScript. I will leave this function for the time being and save this draft. After that, we have to review our draft and deploy. When the deployment was successful, we can go to functions and open our created function at user. Here we first delete all comments. Then we need the full document from our change event to get the player's name. Then we connect to our other collection users and we insert a new entry with insert1 and set the player to the player from our high score. 
When we make changes to a function, we also have to save this as draft and then review and deploy the changes. Now we can go back to our Atlas database and to our collection high score. And instead of inserting a new one, we can duplicate our entry from Bobby. And we change the player name to Karen. And after we inserted the document, we can check the users table. There is now a new entry for Karen. And that's it for the first video. Create your own environment and be prepared to connect it with Unity. So, I hope you learned something new today. Subscribe to watch more tutorials and I'm sure I see you in the next.